All right, so one of the things that a coach does with um, their clients is, is teach them, help them learn and grow new ideas and different things. And so what I want to share with you right now is uh, Abraham Maslow's uh, Four Stages of Learning. This came out in 1960. You can Google it. It's all over the place. Some people say there's five stages, but let me just talk about the four that we're going to work with on right now. Uh, we're going to use colors, and we're going to use symbols. We're going to write on this board because it helps everybody retain the learning principles. It's a gestalt learning theory. Um, so in 1960, Abraham Maslow came up with the four stages. This is a, uh, this is a key power principle from Brian Tracy. He's got a half dozen of them. And uh, if I step over there, I'll probably get out of the camera. Um, so this being one of those key components of what we as business coaches uh, try to work with our clients with on a very, very frequent basis. And in fact, this is one of our strategies as we work our clients through their growth. So the first stage over here is when you are, and when you were born, and as time goes by, you are unconsciously incompetent. What does that mean? It means that you really, you don't know what you don't know, right? You don't know anything's out there, you don't know any ideas, you don't know anything, and when you're born, you're just this sponge, this receptive, everything that comes in, you're learning, you're learning, you're learning, right? And as you learn and you learn and you learn, you move to a stage in your life of being consciously incompetent. So when a baby learns to walk, they don't learn to walk instantly. They figure out other people are walking. I want to walk too. But they don't know how to walk, right? When you want to drive a car, right? When you're first born, you don't even have an idea of a car, right? But eventually you say, oh, the faster way to get around is to drive a car, right? You move from the unconsciously incompetent space to the consciously incompetent space. So as a coach, one of the things I'm trying to do with my clients all the time is move them from here to there. New ideas, different concepts, different areas of, of involvement. You know, my business is coaching, my business is business. So I'm reading books, I'm reading magazines, I'm on the internet, I've done all kinds of things all the time about business. My objective then is to share some things with you that maybe you're not aware of so that you can then become aware of them. Once you become aware of them, now, actually, you have a choice. You can decide to learn something more about it. So you could take a class or take training or read a book or do any number of kind of things. And the next stage would be to move you to a spot where you are consciously, I'll learn how to spell that one of these days, competent. So now, you know how to do it. But are you very good at it? Maybe not. As a famous golf instructor once said, it'll take a little while for you to get used to what I'm telling you. And sometimes when you take that lesson and, and you <laughs> go out on the golf course, it can be pretty difficult for a little while until you incorporate that lesson. If you were to um, learn to drive a manual transmission car, stick shift, um, I knew about it, right? It was a car. My father took me out in the car and said, all right, here's how it works. So now I'm competent, I know how it works. How many times did I stall that car <laughs> the first time I tried to drive it, right? So first week or so, there's a couple of intersections that are pretty dicey, a couple of different things that are going on, um, but I practice, right? And that's what this phase is. This is practice, this is application, and I get better, right? And a year later, I'm up here and I'm at a stage called unconsciously, <laughs> I still can't spell it, competent, right? I don't have to think about when to push the clutch in and when to shift and when to do that kind of thing. So I <clears throat> then move into the spot, it's like riding a bicycle, right? After, after, you ride, after you learn, the first week of riding a bicycle, there's a few scrapes. But a year later, you don't even remember those scrapes, you don't remember anything about it, and you're just riding your bicycle or you're driving the manual transmission. 
And the other thing that's nice is that when you get to this stage, you stay there. You don't backslide. Once you learn to ride a bike, you know how to ride a bike. You can go 20 years without riding a bike. Manual transmission. I did drive a manual transmission car for 15, almost 20 years. I went to Costa Rica, had to rent a car. Guess what? All they got are manual transmissions. No biggie. I'm going up and down mountains, having all kinds. We went off-roading. It was all kinds of fun. But once you get to here, then you're, then you're pretty much got it. You're fine. So as a coach, we want to move you through this transition from unconsciously incompetent to consciously competent, making decisions about what we want to learn more about, learning that information, and then practicing it. And this part here, practice, the coach helps you here by being, making you accountable. So when you say, I'm going to, I want to, this is where I want to go, every week, you get to hang out with the coach and tell him how you're doing. And when you say, I didn't do that, the coach says, how come? Why? So we keep you practicing because, and we're only here to help you get where you want to go. We're not here to get where we want to go. This is all about you. We're all about getting you to that position. So anyway, that's the four stages of learning by uh, Abraham Maslow. <laughs>